This video is going to help with cr you creating the parts shown utilizing the mirror feature application as part of the first model for activity 5.5b CAD model features part 2. So as I take a look at this model here from the activity I've gone through and drawn the profile as they would like us to and this is kind of what to start off with. 0.5 for the width on the on this taller part on the part you know, of this uh, block here and then a height on this to be 0.5 and then a height on the bottom piece of it sticking out to be 0.5 from this edge to the edge of the part 0.75. When I'm done I'm going to finish the sketch. I will go through I will extrude this part as they show us in the document to 0.75. I'll click OK. They do tell us that we want to go through and apply fillets around the two edges to be 0.25 and I will choose those two to apply those rounds. Next thing we'll do is we'll set to apply a hole. So I'm going to choose the hole feature. I'm going to keep the placement as linear, select the face that I want to place it in and then they do say that we want to go all the way through the part so I'm going to change the distance to through all and then it's going to be a 0.375 diameter. However, that doesn't really go through and place it. So here in reference one, I'll click on the red arrow, choose the front edge, and as far as the distance goes, I can change this to 0.75 uh, divided by two to set it right in the middle in this direction. I, I'm not gonna hit enter or anything on my keyboard. I'll just go through and click on the next red arrow for reference two. I'll choose this edge and same scenario 0.75 divided by 2 to place it right in the middle. I'll click OK just to verify I can see I've gone through and gotten the hole placed in the right part. Okay, The only other thing to do now is with the mirror uh, pattern feature within uh, Inventor we'll go through and utilize mirror. One thing is, is the first thing it asks for is features so if you just click the block itself and then choose the mirror plane to be this edge, you're going to notice that it does that it doesn't pattern the uh, features that we went through and applied, such as the fillets and the holes. So here's what I what I would have to do is I'm going to go back to utilizing mirror one. I'm going to double click on it, and then to click features, I'm going to go ahead and click on this button again. I'll choose the fillets, and you'll notice now it's going to pattern those. Two, and then I can also go through and place the hole. Once I click OK, now it'll go through. So each feature goes through and gets selected individually in order to properly mirror this part. And this concludes on how to utilize the mirror feature tool in the 3D side.